Hey, it's Christopher, AKA the Bronze Age Nerd, and we've got another Monday mail call where I check out what I picked up over the last week. So this ended up being a very light week. There's a lot of uh, weather conditions across the country that I think slowed down shipping combined with standard COVID shipping delays. Uh, a couple things went through Texas. So obviously that's a problem with all the stuff that's been going on down there. Uh, if you happen to watch this in Texas, go ahead and leave a, a comment because I'm really interested in how you're doing and what the conditions are like. We only get to see what we see on the news. Uh, hopefully you're all doing all right. So the first shipment I got this week is a pickup that I already have an issue of. You actually saw it in a recent mail call. Uh, I went ahead and got a second copy of Avengers 186, uh, first appearance of Cathan. This is a really popular uh, spec book right now based on the very Gary Comics chat where Matt Forge brought up a theory that a lot of people thought had some weight to it. I like this book for a few different reasons. It's one of the reasons they mentioned. This book's probably been undervalued for a while. It is the first appearance of Magda, which is Magneto's mother. It's also the first appearance of Cathan, uh, who is a, a very prominent dark sorcerer in the Marvel Universe. And with the MCU really heightening the magic right now with everything going on in WandaVision, uh, with uh, possibly a book that's related to Cathan maybe showing up recently in WandaVision. Potential spoilers, we really don't know what it is yet though. Um, so anyways, there's a lot of reasons why this book is a good one to have right now. Um, there's a theme you'll notice throughout this week. Every shipment I got is messed up in some way. This comic had a terrible um, uh, bent for back cover. The pictures in the eBay auction did not have that damage. The seller said, hey, I made a mistake. Apparently, I think, I think it must have happened when he was packaging up the comic after taking pictures of it. Um, or maybe he rebagged and boarded it after he sold the item, I don't know. Um, he ended up giving me a substantial refund on the item. It sucks though. It's not a very great looking copy anyway, but just stinks. And it's a recurring theme you'll see. So next up we got a shipment from Comics Elite, which is a little strange because the way Comics Elite operates is they don't ship out any comics until every comic from that shipment, from that pre-order shipment, is supposed to have released. Well, there's comics that I had on this order that were coming out March 3rd. So that's weird that they shipped this this shipment. I didn't even think about it until I, I got the shipment. I opened it up. I'm like, wait a minute, this seems like not that many comics. And sure enough, more than half the order was missing. Again, Comics Elite has been pretty good about handling these issues, but I've had a number of issues now. This is actually my fourth shipment in a row that has had some sort of mistake or damage or cancellation of a shorted book that they got of some kind. And it's wearing a little thin. They are going to send out all these books as soon as the other ones arrive. Um, I mentioned that it was the fourth mistake in a row. Honestly, I sort of expected, hey, we'll ship out the rest of the books that are in because some of those books are out right now. Um, and then the rest of the books when they come in, something like that would have been appropriate, I think, at the very least. Um, so, I mean, they're, they're going to send me the books when they were originally supposed to have sent them. But just sorry, it feels a little hollow after four shipments in a row that have had mistakes. But let's show you what I did get. Um, I did get a book that's kind of popping off, actually. Uh, Radiant Black, number one, from Image. Uh, that's doing pretty well. I think a lot of those copies are actually going for a little bit more. Um, a title that I had hoped would catch a little bit more heat when it first came out of the gate, but I'm still picking up all the first five issues. Erratic, number three. I got my um, third printing of Star Wars High Republic number one. Um, <laughs> funny enough with that one. So I did order several copies from Things From Another World. I think I got five cover A, uh, two of the cover B, and uh, two of the Hans cover. And then from Comics Elite, I also have a bunch of outstanding issues for that uh, that I got, but that shipment hasn't shipped yet because Wolverine Black, White, and Blood number three got delayed. Uh, they just got that in. I sent them an email. They said, hey, we're going to put that at the top of our list to ship out. That was a couple days ago and it still hasn't shipped out. So 
we'll see when that one comes, but I have some issues of, of the first printing that I'm waiting on for High Republic, and I'd like to get those in because I'd like to send those off in a 9.8 pre-screen if any of them look good enough. Um, that, that order also has a couple copies of Amazing Spider-Man 55. I have other copies of Amazing Spider-Man 55, but I'd like to send out some of those too. So be nice to get that shipment soon. Got Eternals number two. A lot of people have said this is a pretty good read, so I'm looking forward to that one. It has a cool cover. The Thanos cover is awesome. Uh, this was a, I, they're doing a new style of variant, which I hate to almost support, but this is uh, the, the Masterworks, I think is now, Masterpieces. I can't remember exactly what they're calling that, but that's the Fantastic Four cover. And I thought that was pretty neat. They're doing several of those. Uh, for DC, we got Future State Justice League number two. And I went with the B cover on that one. Future State Dark Detective number three. I think this is the one that has the fight between the two Batman, the original Batman and uh, um, uh, the Tim Fox Batman. Uh, and I think Grifter too has a backup story in there. So this cover just exploded out of nowhere. And I actually did get an A cover of this comic, which is uh, Deja Thoris number 10. This is the Lucio Perillo um, cover. Uh, it just kind of came out of nowhere. He does a lot of great work, but this one really caught fire. So I actually got the uh, 1 in 50 incentive variant. Look, I'll just make the obvious joke. That's, that's Deja Booty right there. Um, it's, it's just a cool cover. Um, for obvious reasons. Um, but I like Lucio Prio's art. He does a very good job. I mean, he's probably the modern equivalent of Frazetta these days, uh, or at least a disciple of that school of, of art. And he just does a really good job. That actually was the only comic shipment I got. That was from an eBay order. That was the only one I got this week that didn't have any issues whatsoever. So shout out to that eBay seller. Lastly, I got... Uh, this uh, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy number two. This is a Warren Liu cover. And there's a mirror cover um, with Poison Ivy on it. That's that's this cover. But I actually didn't know this variant existed. And I just thought it was a cool variant. This one, unfortunately, does have a pretty good crease on the cover there. I might roll in a picture of that. Um, and when it arrived, it actually had a really bad warp on the poly bag. And I was like, oh, no, this thing's probably even more damaged. Um, now that that corner bend was in the listing um, and it re was reflected in the price too. I just like the cover. It's it's color breaking, so it's not going to press out. Then again, I don't think that cover is going to be a a super hot book someday anyway. So whatever. So yeah, kind of a weird week. Um, some more disappointing shipments um, where things are damaged, missing. There's an issue, etc. I'm really tired of that. Um, hopefully, that just means my my comic karma has built up and, and hopefully I'll be getting some good stuff in the mail soon. You know, I'll just take this opportunity. If you, if you just cared about the comics and that's all you wanted, feel free to, to switch over to something else. But if you are still watching, uh, kind of talk about some of my planned videos I have coming up. Uh, I want to branch into some, some more hard hitting content that isn't just pickups or, um, or things like that. Uh, I did do that, that local comic shop rant, which is worth checking out. If you want to, if you want to see a situation I had at a local comic book store and how I handled it. And on top of that, I'm also going to be doing a video, uh, some stuff aimed at beginner collectors or collectors that are just now getting back into comic collecting um, and they have some questions. Uh, I'll talk about some things like um, uh, Mylar bags versus uh, polypropylene bags um, or poly bags, if you will, um, which is what most people probably call them these days. And um, uh, we'll talk about that in a video. I want to talk about some of the, the first appearance cameo controversy stuff in some little bit more detail. Um, I want to talk about some collector tips that I have for people. Um, you know, things like how to organize your collection or about how to seek out good deals. I can even talk a little bit about how, how speculation um, is working in the modern market or at least a way to navigate speculation in the modern market. Um, I will, you know, call out a lot of the creators on YouTube that have done great jobs talking about some of these things so far and give them props where due because a lot of my ideas are sort of a combination of of their advice mixed with my own little experiences and I'll just offer that up. Um, but I do want to thank all those creators that have had great videos coming out and hopefully I can deliver some extra content to you that you can use to build your arsenal of, of how you want to navigate comic collecting these days. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on. <laughs> uh, I also want to do a video about bad idea. Um, 
and hopefully have that coming out soon. Bad idea is an interesting concept um, that I think has some flaws and I wanna talk about that. Um, if you're not familiar, Bad Idea is a new comic publishing company that's coming out and they were part of a, a stealth release that came out a while ago that kind of was high profile on a lot of hot 10 lists. So yeah, kind of a short video, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, you know, take this opportunity to go in the comments and let me know what you thought about this video, what you'd like to see different, if anything. Um, if there's any topics you want me to tackle or, or discuss in a future video, I'd be more than happy to hear about it. Um, or just to talk to comics with you. That's that's what we're here for. And as always, just remember, hey, 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 hey. Read comics every day.